Kia ora team, my name's Ben and today let's have a look at type 1 diabetes and diabetic ketoacidosis, DKA. All right, quick recap of type 1 diabetes. So you're born with a genetic susceptibility, then we have a triggering event like trauma or surgery or an infection and we get autoimmune destruction of the beta cells of our pancreas. So here they are destroyed. So what should normally happen is when we eat something sweet or some carbohydrates, glucose end up in our blood, our pancreas beta cells would release insulin and then insulin is the key that unlocks the door to the cell so glucose can enter the cell. Then we metabolize glucose, we break it down, it's called glycolysis, we get ATP and pyruvate, then it enters the mitochondria, we go through the Krebs cycle, the citric acid cycle, or the TCA cycle, same thing, and then the electron transport chain, and we get lots of ATP, some heat, water, and carbon dioxide. Beautiful. But if we are a type 1 diabetic and we don't produce insulin, the glucose stays in the blood and can't get into the cell. So none of this is going to occur. The cell is then going to scream out wanting glucose because it's its preferred fuel source. We're going to go to the liver and we're going to get glycogenolysis. So glycogen is stored sugar and lysis means breakdown or destruction. So in the liver, we break down our stored sugar, glycogen, and release it into the blood. The other thing we can do is we've got gluconeogenesis. Gluco, glucose, neo, new, like a neonate, and then genesis, like the first book in the Bible, is creation. So what gluconeogenesis is, is creation of carbohydrate from non-carbohydrate sources. We can use fat and we can use protein to create glucose. So then this glucose also is released from the liver and enters the blood. So now we're getting more and more hyperglycemic, so more sugar in the blood. If we don't have insulin, that sugar can't leave the blood and enter the cell. Problem, the cell is still screaming out wanting glucose, so these continue to happen. The cell also needs energy, so the other way we can make energy is through our fats. Here's my fat cell. Triglycerides get broken down into glycerol and free fatty acids. So this is called lipolysis. Lipid, fat, lysis, breakdown, destruction. And these free fatty acids, they can enter the bloodstream and we don't need insulin for them to enter the cell. So then free fatty acids in a perfect world will get broken down further through beta oxidization and they'll end up becoming acetyl-CoA going through our Krebs cycle and all the goodness will happen. We'll get our ATP. But the problem is for this to occur, we need oxaloacetate. And we get oxaloacetate when we break down glucose and then get our pyruvate, and then it turns into oxaloacetate. So for the breakdown of fat, we need the breakdown of carbohydrate. So if you're a type 1 diabetic, and there's no insulin, and no glucose going into the cell, then we don't get pyruvate, and we don't get our oxaloacetate, therefore we can't break down our free fatty acids fully, so instead of getting nice aerobic metabolism, we have end up forming ketones. Ketones are a problem because they're acidic and if we keep on forming ketones our body is going to enter metabolic acidosis. So this is diabetic ketoacidosis. Hyperglycemia from glycogenolysis and gluconeogenesis and metabolic acidosis from the buildup of ketones. So that's our diabetic ketoacidosis. Happy studying team!